Keep watching Charis TV. surgery on this one, they'll do it on you also. Ah, uh, ah. Do you hear me? Yes, You've got something here yes, that yes. is growing inside. Mm. And very soon, if you check, they'll say, let's take it out. Ah, uh. This will be one of the ways that the devil will use to kill you. Ah, uh. oh, you demon! Ah. My name is Susan Bowen. I'm coming from Pretoria East. Uh, the prophet uh, Andres located me and uh, he prophesied to me to say there's a pain on my stomach. Uh, and uh, because the, my son is supposed to go for operation, if he goes to operation, I will have to also go to operation and that is the way that the enemy wants to kill me. So I confirm the prophecy to be true that I have a pain on my stomach. Uh, the pain has been bothering me for some time now. I think it's two months now. So it started, uh, uh, it was not so painful, but this week it's been painful. The pain was hindering me from performing my duties because uh, I couldn't stand for maybe 30 minutes. I have to work whilst I'm, I, I take time to relax and to rest. Uh, after the, upper, the, the, the prayer, I feel much better. I'm no longer feeling that pain because at the time I came to church, I was feeling the pain, but now it's gone after he prayed for me. I would like uh, to, for people to know that uh, the Charis Missionary Church is a place where we can come and be delivered. So anyone who's having a problem, even if you don't have a problem, uh, I would advise that you come in and, and fellowship at Charis Missionary Church because they even uh, able to see problems that you don't see. Pick, uh, they're picking up problems before they, they, they become big or because before you are aware of it. Why there's so much problems? Why this hate? Hey, it's, too, it's too much, huh? especially the young, the young Why one. Why your children are hating you? What do you do to your children? I don't, I don't know, and I've done so much are for you, them. Are you a witch? I'm, <laughs> I'm not a witch. I've done so much for them, huh? but now they cannot do for me. Are they you can, a witch? I'm not a witch. I don't know what hap what is happening with my children. You know, because I see a serious rejection. Yes, they don't even call me. There's no relationship at all. Yes. So we want God to fix this problem. Yes, yes. Do you hear me? God must fix this problem. And whoever that is telling your children against you, I pray that that person must receive the same problem. Amen. Amen. Because uh, this, what is happening to you is spiritual. Yes. You cannot suffer like this, whereas your children went to school. Mm. You can't suffer like this. Amen. So now, today, I'll be praying for you. Yes. Do you hear me? Amen. I'll be praying for you. I believe God must solve this relationship. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I, I ask you a very awkward question. Very awkward. Very awkward mm. question. You know, look now, what is happening now? This one, like five months, six months now, going to seven months. Mm. So God must help you. Come on! Come on! Come 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus name. This lady. This spirit of a snake must leave you. That mama, she's free. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, my name is Virginia. I'm from here in Jobek. Ma, today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He said, why my children are, are rejecting me? And it's true because uh, this few, uh, it's about two months now, my son, he always, he's waking and he doesn't even care about me. He doesn't even call me. I don't know what is happening. And so today I was so happy because uh, Prophet Andres, when he allocated me, I know that my past is over now. They will change from now on because he said it's, it's, it's spiritually. That is what they are doing or what they're doing right now. And how has that affected you? It was hard because for the past two months, my, my young son, every time he will make the promise that he will never fulfill, and he's not the same man that I always uh, that that I know, because right now, even even right now, the whole weekend, since I spoke to to him on Friday, he said he will come back to me. He hasn't called me until today, so I just want to thank you for this prophet because I know that I'll, from today my children are free now. Thank you, Jesus. Leave this lady up. That brother was younger than you. Yes. You hear me? That brother was younger than you. Uh, God will give you a husband. Amen. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> you hear me? You're hearing me? Yes. Okay. Yes. God will give you a husband. Okay. And because I see this brother was very young. In fact, in the beginning, he lied to you. So. I want God to give you a husband. Brother, say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. But it's 2023. Brother, say amen. amen. Say amen. 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 Lena, you people don't want to marry. Eh? You just sit. Let's leave it. Because you you know, say amen. amen. Brother, say amen. Amen. I, you know, uh, if you want to marry, Find someone here in the church. At least when you are troubled by someone who knows the Bible, one day she can come back to the road. Huh? I like to be you know, troubled by someone when, when there's a problem, she goes to IAPM, come back around 5 o'clock. You will have double stress when now. Huh? You will have double problem. Someone who knows all these names of all these beers. And it's a wife. A wife who knows all the names of beers. This one is a what what? This one is light. This one is cider. This one is... Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know, now, now imagine your wife telling you, Oh, now you're in Sarashap. Say, say, get stuff, sagas. Lena, if I were you, I wouldn't even sign. You know, I won't even go to court because trouble is coming your way. <laughs> Travel is coming your way. Sister, 
God must give you a good husband. Let me touch you here. <laughs> and a little you can't be sitting close to each other here. You don't talk. But you know the lady I was praying for. Where is that lady? The one I was speaking about marriage. Where is she? What is she? There's a woman. There's a woman who's after your life. Huh? And it's like you are dreaming this woman sometimes. This woman needs to leave you, sister. This okay. woman must leave you. Amen. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He talked about the issue of marriage. He said the guy that I was seeing, he said he's younger than me. So he's praying for me for a, a right man. Yeah, he told me before. In fact, he asked me last time I was here in church. He said, there's a guy who's seeing you at work. And I said, yes. And I told him that the guy is younger than me. Yeah, so I confirm it to be true because today he mentioned the issue again. Yes. And how long have you been trusting in God for marriage? It's been five years now. Yeah, I would say five years because I was married for before. So it's been five years now. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life? I feel so happy because it has always been my prayer that I want to get married again. Yes. So I'm so happy that he mentioned my issue. While we're busy um, confirming what he said, he further asked for you and further prophesied to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He said, um, um, there's a woman that I'm seeing in my dreams, which is true. And then the, the, the woman is after my life. So I confirm the prof prophecy to be true. So he prayed for me. Amen. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life? I feel so happy because at first I didn't want to come to church. I came very late after I think something to, to three. So I believe God had something to tell me. Yes, so I'm so happy that he located me. Amen. You're supposed to be dead. The spirit must leave you. Hmm? The spirit must leave you, sister. Come on. Why are you still alive? You want to kill her? Hmm? You want to kill her? <laughs> you want to kill her? Yes. Huh? Mm. Why do you want to kill her? We hate her. She's doing one? We hate her. You hate her? Mm -hmm. Why do you hate her? Hi. What is your reason? Yeah. God loves you. God loves you. Amen. I say God loves you. Amen. Your amen is very weak. Amen. Your amen is very weak. Amen. Your amen is very weak. Amen. My sister, come. I touch you many times. Come and stand here. I want to touch you again. Stand here. Touch you again. Touch you again. Touch you again. Let me touch you again. Move back, sister. You and Asha, move back. Let me touch you again. Let me touch you again. I'm releasing you from this altar of Satan. Let me touch you again. I'm releasing you. Lift her up. Let's release her. I saw a pot. It's like someone took her blood and put it inside this pot. Bring her here. Let me touch you again. Touch you. Lift her up. 
This lady must be free. If this lady can be free, all of you are free. Amen. Bring her. Let me touch you again. 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 Uh huh. Re, 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 I see you, you are hiding. Leave it. Don't hide. Come out. Leave it now. Leave, you demon. Leave now. Leave. You can't hide in the church. Leave. In the name of Jesus. Leave. 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 You know, when I pray for this lady, I see a pot. And from there, I see blood there. But it's like also she went somewhere, someone took something from her, put it inside something. She's free. Lift her. Let's lift her. Look at me. How are you feeling? Huh? I'm just a bit shaky. You're shaky. Huh? Mm. Now the prayer that I'm offering you is for releasing your name. Amen. You hear me? Amen. For releasing your name. And I want to tell you, there's a man who's arrested, and this man, you are still confused about him. It's true. Please, uh, let's allow God to give you someone. Amen. You hear me? Amen. So let's allow God to give you someone. Uh, because remember, there was a time, even before this man could be arrested, you were dreaming. It's true. You're dreaming these things. It's true. That something like this is coming. It's true. You know, it's like uh, there are many things that are happening to you. So, but yes, I get so confused. Mm. Even now, sometimes the confusion I feel like Look at maybe me. I'm going to church Look at too me. much. Look at me. thing that you must do now is church. Amen. These thoughts of telling you church, church is never too much. Amen. You know, one time I was telling some people, I said, if me, I was not married, I'll sleep here in the church. So now church is never too much. Amen. So I'll pray for you. Release this man from your heart. Amen. These businesses don't work. Amen. Because money is a problem. Amen. Come here. Touch your stomach. Married again. This lady is free. Come on. Hello, nice ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Zanele. Um, I come from Soweto. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and Minister Apanyanaf. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, Prophet Andres today located me and said. Um, that there's a man that is arrested in my life and I confirm that prophecy to be true because um, it is actually the father of my children. Um, it's been two years that he's been arrested 
and um, ever since yes it, it I've, I've just had um, a lot of things that I've been losing so um, I do confirm that what he said is actually accurate he also mentioned um, the fact that he sees my name in a pot um, of which that I, 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 I am not, I don't know of, but I can confirm that it is true because I've just lost so many things. Um, I've lost my job, I lost then the father of my kids, and of recent, I just have been feeling very depressed. There's nothing for me that I feel like has been working out at times. It even feels as if I'm gonna die. Um, I don't understand where that feeling comes from, but it would just come and I will feel like something wrong is gonna happen. So I've just been suffering from serious anxiety. Um, he was arrested because he, it was a pending case that he had from a long time ago, which was for attempted theft. And so because of COVID, he couldn't be, the, the courts were not working properly. So I think two years later, they then uh, found him and they actually came to look for him at home. So he's been arrested ever since. And how has that affected you? It has affected me a lot because in actual fact, um, he had uh, paid Lobola so um, we're actually preparing that very soon we're going to get married. So everything actually fell apart. None of the plans that we had actually um, worked out. And as a result, it's what brought me um, this hopelessness and uh, me just feeling very exhausted with everything. Um, my life honestly has been at a standstill because we invested so much energy in trying to help him. but didn't work out. And how do you feel that today Prefer Andrews located you and Minister upon your life? I'm very relieved because um, I've been coming to church and each time I've been hoping that um, he can locate me because I, I've been feeling uh, very confused. I've been going through a lot like um, the anxiety had just taken over. So at times it would even feel as though it's hard to come to church, but I would still push because of um, my faith. Even though everything else was very hard, but my faith is what kept me coming to church. For your mercy, receive promotion, Mama. Ah! Come on, come on. Mm, I just want to touch few of you.